Ephesians 6 13, AMP. Therefore, put on the complete armor of God, so that you will be able to, successfully, resist, and stand your ground, in the evil day, of danger, and having done everything, that the crisis demands, to stand firm, in your place, fully prepared, immovable, victorious. Yesterday we talked about falling and getting back up. Today, let's set our sights on standing your ground, once you're back on your feet. It's no fun to get knocked flat on your face, so Paul gives you the key to standing firm in the midst of a battle. He said you need to put on the complete armor of God. Not some of it. All of it. A warrior didn't go into battle missing a piece of his armor, because that would leave vital parts of him exposed, and vulnerable to the enemy. You need to put on all the armor. In verse 11, Paul tells you that your fight is against the devil. No matter what you're facing, the devil is behind it. God did not plan it for you. As we look at each piece of armor over the next several days, you'll see that there is no armor to cover your back. This is because you have to stand and face the enemy. Turning your back and running, will leave you vulnerable to his attack. This is why Paul tells you several times to stand. Stand your ground. Stand. You may know what the armor is, but if you don't know how to put it on, and how to use it, it won't protect you from the attacks of the evil one. This is why Paul said that, after you have done everything, then stand. You have to put it on. You have to use it. Read Ephesians 6 14-17, familiarize yourself with the armor and prepare to use it. 